Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So just yesterday, Slayer's Gorvy gifted us with a PS5 host that was only going to be working for 4.03, but it allowed us to send payloads. And so I spent quite some time yesterday playing with what he released so far. And if you want a little bit more information, you can definitely go check out this video. But what has seemed to be very interesting as of lately has been this tweet right here. And it says, as for the payload.bin to dump a mounted game, you can find it on this link. And so really what we had was we have the host by Slurs Gorvy for 4.03 only. And now we actually have a payload to dump a mounted game. Now, what we found out was, was that this is just one piece of the pie that you'll need in order to dump a game. You would obviously need to download this and send this payload first. And after that's complete, well, then you would need to come over here and you would need to run this second payload to dump the modules from the SCE module folder. Now, we also learned that you still haven't got everything that you need for an actual game dump. So Chameleon says right here, I think you need to combine both the special payload for the elf-like decryption and the FTP server, and then control execute says correct. And he said, again, you will also need to use the new payload to also dump the modules in the SCE underscore module folder. Now you'd probably want to go ahead and download those two files because we're going to use them in just a moment. And then you're going to need to make sure that you have access to this tool called SOCAT. So if you are using Windows as I'm using right here and I'm using Windows subsystem for Linux and this is just the Windows terminal, you can see that I now have a bash prompt and that's just simply because I'm running Ubuntu. So if you go to the Microsoft Store and you do a search for Ubuntu or Windows Subsystem for Linux or the Windows Terminal, then you can download these tools in order to complete this next step. So once you do all of that, just go to your command prompt and you can just simply type in SOCAT. Now it's not gonna find it, but if we hit enter right here, it will say SOCAT not found, but it can be installed with this command right here, which is sudo apt install SOCAT. And then you'd want to press enter, enter your password. And now at this point, it should be downloading and installing to your computer. Okay, and so once that's complete, you can just quickly test it by just typing in SOCAT as you can see right here, but again, we didn't provide the parameters that it needs, but that at least tells us that it still has already found it on the system. Now, let's switch over to our PlayStation 5. Okay, so the very first thing that you would want to do would be to go ahead and insert a PS5 game disc. We're going to go ahead and go with Panda Hero Remastered, and what you'll want to do is you'll just want to go ahead and run it. So once the application loads, then we're just going to kind of put it in this kind of suspended state. So I'm just going to go kind of go home right here. Obviously, the game is still running, but that's exactly what we're going to need. So then from there, we're going to go to our settings and I already have the DNS added. So I need to say yes right here. We're going to use the URL redirector. And so we're using my shortcut, which was mcrump.me slash sg. You can use that if you want to. It just redirects to Slayer's Gorby's site. And now we're running the exploit. Okay, there it is. So debug waiting for payloads. Excellent. So I'm going to begin by sending the payload as shown right here. And I did not see anything visual pop up on the screen once I sent that. And now we need to send over this command. And then right here is just your PS5's IP address. I will provide this below so you can just copy and paste it. And then press the enter button. 
And so now it is obviously transferring the files off of the disk themselves. And for the eBoots, I believe they are decrypted. Okay, so it just finished up. And we will do a listing here on the file name that we gave it, which was ra.tar. So we can see that is right around 55 megabytes. We'll do explorer.exe period. One of the easiest ways to do this is to just right click it and then just go to rename. And then instead of tar, it's going to be RAR. And if you've got some sort of RAR tool on your computer, such as this one right here that I use, which is just basically 7-zip, then you can see the contents a little bit easier. So we will go into mount, and then we can see there's a sandbox, and then there is the PFSMNT, and there is the application, and there is the eBoot. And go into the patch, again, there's the eBoot and there's the SPRX. And so now I'll just try sending the second payload. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's now send the payload that dumps the modules from the SCE underscore module folder. Okay, so again, I injected it. I did not see anything visual on my screen here. Let's switch back to the terminal. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to run that same exact command as before, except for the only thing that you'll see is that right here in the open, I just named this one ra2.tar. So go ahead and do that, and then press return, and it should start transferring again. And then once this is complete, we will go ahead and compare that side by side from the other one, just to kind of see what you get with each of the different dumps. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll run explorer.exe space period again. And as you can see right here, it does show that that is 129 megabytes versus 54 before. So let's go ahead and we will rename this again to RAR and let's put them side by side. Okay, so we have a mount folder and then we have the sandbox and now going into each one of these folders we have the app zero and we'll do the app zero here so it does look like you still get the eboot.bin if you just run that second one they do look identical now let's look at the patch folder there is the patch and yeah absolutely this one does contain the same exact thing except for we do have this SCE module, which was what was just mentioned just a second ago. It looks like there is also a media folder that wasn't included in the first one that has like modules, and then it has plugins, etc. And then in order to get the rest of the files via FTP, well, that is where you can check out this video that I made, yes, five months ago, where it was dump PS5 games via USB with this payload right here. So I definitely think you should check that one out as well. And so that is going to do it for this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!